Hey, this time I wanted to show you how to use a button to equip an avatar or create a button that when you click it, it equips an avatar. Let's go ahead and get into that right away. So over here in Smooth POV, we're going to go ahead and set something up. I don't have something um, prepared um, to show you, but uh, I'll show you how to set that up as we go. First thing you're going to need is a button. So I'm going to go ahead here and equip my developer tooltip. I'm going to go to create new object, new SUI button. There's our button. And the next thing we're going to need is an avatar that we want to equip. So I'm going to go to inventory, Neos Essentials, avatars, and I'm just going to pick one. Feel free to pick whatever you'd like. I'm going to choose this skeleton. I'll put it next to here just for now. And let's go ahead and hook things up. First thing I need to do is get the event from a button. I have a dedicated video to this where I go over it, but you're going to see it again here. Um, I'll link to that video anyway, just so there's some sort of cross pollination going on. Uh, but what we do is we inspect the button by aiming our laser at it, hitting secondary, and then hit open inspector. Find Neos button, switch to your logics tooltip, grab Neos button, hit secondary in the world, you'll see Neos button appears. Open up the node browser, go to interaction button events. Spawn that in the world, hook this up, and there you go, that's the button events happening, and we can uh, drag out a ribbon here for pressed and hit secondary, and then when we push this we can get a button event. Then we need to actually equip this avatar, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to go to the avatar folder here, here's avatar, and equip avatar. Now, a cup avatar is uh, quite a simple node, actually. It has three inputs and an impulse. The impulse just means start equipping. So we can connect the pressed event of the button to the top here. The next one it needs is the user. Um, like with other button event um, tutorials, I'll link, uh, like I said, in the link video description, there's some more there. If you use local user, which you can find in users local user, it will refer to the user who pushed the button. Super useful here. So this means equip the avatar to the user who pushed the button. And the next thing it needs is a slot, which is the root of the avatar. So for this, we need to swap back to the developer tooltip, inspect the avatar here. We'll hit the up arrow here on the left to go to the root of the avatar, skeleton. We'll swap back to the logics tip here. We'll grab skeleton, hit secondary. Now we've got the, the avatar root, and we can hook this in. The next one is a matter of preference. I'm actually going to leave it as false for now, so you can see what's going on. It's called destroy old, and what it'll do is it will destroy the old avatar. If you leave this as false, it means the old avatar will stick in the world here. If you're doing sort of a temporary avatar switch or an avatar switch that's sort of uh, you know for a particular scenario where you need the old avatar to support a stay around, set this to false. But in most cases, you might actually want to set it to true. So I'll leave this as false for now, just so you can see what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. And now I'm the skeleton. But you can see that I'm actually inside myself. If I back away, you'll see that I'm right there. And you'll also see that the other problem that has occurred is that we've only got one skeleton avatar. So the avatar is now um, unusable. This button will no longer work. So I'm going to show you how to fix both of these problems, which is me uh, still being there and uh, there only being one skeleton avatar available with a little bit of an extension to this tutorial to go into some more details. If this is all you're after, feel free to tune out now, but we'll go on to fixing the two problems that I just illustrated, which is there's only one skeleton avatar and I'm still there. So let's re-equip me, because I, I need this uh, avatar back over there. What we're going to do here is use what I'm calling, and I'm, I'm giving it a name simply because um, I want people to start using terminology here that sort of helps conversation. I'm going to call it the duplicate pattern. The duplicate pattern here is where an event happens, you duplicate something, and then you do something with that duplicate. Um, and I'm, I'm referring to that as duplicate pattern. You can take it or leave it, but I'm, I'm going to be using that terminology. Uh, so I'll illustrate what's going to happen here, which is we're going to duplicate the avatar and then equip it. And that way we'll never run out of skeleton avatars. We'll have a limitless supply of skeleton avatars. But let's change up our logics a little bit to facilitate this. So I'm going to go to back here. I'm going to go to slots, I'm going to go to duplicate slot, and I'm going to put this up here, and then we're going to move things around a little bit. So we'll move the equip avatar to the right here, and now let's go over the duplicate slot node. So the duplicate slot node will take an impulse, which will duplicate the inputted slot, and it will output an on-duplicated event, which means the duplicate has happened, and the output is the duplicate, so it's the copy. So the original goes in the, in the left, and out of the right comes a duplicate. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the original skeleton avatar, which is represented by this arrow here, and plug it into the input here, which says template. And we're going to take the duplicate and plug it into the output, uh, uh, into the input here, avatar root. So now we need to connect the pressed into duplicate and the output of unduplicated to equip. And it's now set up. I'm also going to set this to true, which will solve the problem of me still hanging around when I push the button. So now when I push the button, it's going to duplicate the original skeleton avatar. 
and then it's going to equip that duplicate. So if we if this all works correctly, what we should see is me standing here as as me with my uh, my usual hands here. And when I hit this button, that skeleton should stay exactly where it is, but a new skeleton should be in my place, and it should be my avatar, and there should be no me left behind. Let's go ahead and do it. Button. There you go. I'm now a skeleton. There's still a skeleton over there, and if I change to third person here. There's no duplicate avatar here, so there's no um, there's no copy of me behind, and that's because I set the um, destroy all to true there. So if you're making a setup where you want someone to grab a, a particular avatar, this is how you do it. You duplicate it first, and then you equip it. This is an example of, like I said, the duplicate pattern, as I'm, I'm colloquially calling it. Um, it'll come up a lot of times where you need to sort of duplicate something and then do uh, something with it and use what's called a template to do that. This is an example of a template here. We have the template skeleton avatar. We're duplicating it and then using it. So that is equipping an avatar with a button. I hope this has been useful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the video comments or uh, get back to me another way and I'll get back to you. Bye-bye.